Good news, everyone. We are here in Unit 3, and this is a big unit. We'll be spending three weeks on it uh, in a regular semester, uh, and uh, possibly two or three in the summer session. Um, as usual, we want to go through everything top to bottom uh, and uh, start with that purpose statement. Uh, basically, we're going to cover some probability stuff, go into probability distributions, uh, go and mainly focus on the binomial distribution and the normal distribution, um, and then uh, from there calculate probabilities. Uh, just like with Unit 2, there is a review. Um, this just covers stuff from the previous unit, so you want to start with the review of Unit 2. Uh, you will have to do that before you start the practice for Unit 3, so make sure you do that. Look at the learning objectives for this unit. You see some stuff uh, related to different types of probabilities, um, different types of distributions, binomial, normal, and t-distribution. Uh, the big thing is the central limit theorem. And uh, of course, then there'll be some uh, stuff on sampling distributions as well. There's a lot of great stuff in the vocabulary, notation, and formulas. So make sure you look through this and keep that as a nice reference. Um, you know, some of this stuff should look kind of familiar from uh, previous stuff you've learned about with probability. Um, so here's just all the general basic rules of probability. Uh, do a review of that. Then you get to probability distributions, which should look a lot like relative frequency distributions. Uh, and then we can get expected value from that. Uh, the distributions we're really focusing on is the binomial. Um, that's where your data is a bunch of yeses and nos, or uh, just two possible outcomes. And the normal distribution, which you get from more continuous data, uh, like what you're using in your project. Um, and then there'll be a little bit on the uh, t-distribution will come up later. So uh, then we get into sampling distributions, uh, which is a pretty deep concept, um, but I'm going to make a pretty good video to try to boil it down into just the calculations you need, and those are actually pretty easy. So there's a ton of reading because it pulls from a lot of different sections. Chapter 3, and, and so I made one PDF with everything, but these are links to the online book. Um, chapter 3, those first three sections, that's the probability stuff. Uh, chapter 4 gets into discrete distributions like the binomial. Um, chapter 6 into continuous distributions. And then chapter 7 with the normal distribution. Uh, a lot of videos here. So there's the chapter 3, 4, 6, and 7 videos. These are ones by the author of the textbook we're using, right? the uh, kind of out-of-date videos, um, but they're nice correlation with the textbook reading. Um, then there's videos that I made uh, showing the main processes, so expected value, uh, binomial distribution, doing it with Excel and with this online calculator. And the online calculator is nice for getting some graphs, but uh, for the most part we'll be using Excel. Uh, the empirical rule which is pretty cool. You can do that uh, using Excel and doing it by hand. Um, and then, of course, normal distributions are uh, focused on in some of the other videos. And then uh, I got a video coming up to finish this off with sampling distributions. I got a bunch of other odds and ends here. Some of this stuff's from the book, like this is just an excerpt from the book um, about how to translate uh, between English and math. So that's good to check that out. A lot of questions or people have are answered by that. Uh, the binomial distribution has some complicated syntax, so uh, check that out. All right, it tells you that if you were asking certain probability, this is what you would type into Excel. Um, the methodology for the binomial distribution, so that's a step-by-step -step process on how to use it. There's that uh, calculator, the online calculator, um, and then some of the same stuff for the normal distribution. So the syntax for putting it in Excel, the overall process. And the normal distribution is kind of unique. It, it can be run forward where we're basically trying to figure out what is the probability of the random variable being something or greater or something or less. Um, so I refer to that as just the normal distribution. Then there's the inverse where you're actually given a percentage or probability and you have to try to find the values of the random variable that would lead to that. Um, so definitely look at those two examples and try to think about dividing it up into those two types when you're doing normal problems. All right, and then of course you can get a nice uh, normal distribution graph generator. 
um, for producing those graphs because they are kind of a pain to produce with Excel. The questions about Unit 3 folder uh, should be then uh, linked to the practice and uh, if you have any questions about that you can post them there. Uh, then you're ready for the practice Unit 3, assuming you've done well on the review of Unit 2. Um, got a decent sized critical thinking uh, this week with eight, pro eight questions and then some of those are multi-part and then we get into our third part of the project and uh, we're going to kind of take what we did at, with uh, part two and expand on that and apply sampling distributions and, and some probability questions to it. Uh, and then our exam, we only have two exams in this class, you do get the first one so to access the exam you're going to click on that to expand it um, there's a practice exam, so the exam is uh, one of those assignments that you do not get an opportunity to redo. Uh, you, know, you have a chance to redo uh, critical thinking after you post, you have a chance to redo projects after you submit, and I grade. You have a chance to redo practice problems after you submit them, but the midterm and final exams are one attempt only. So uh, to make sure you're really ready for that, go through the practice midterm exam. It's very similar. You can take that as many times as you like. It does not affect your grade. Uh, once you have the grade you like on that, go and take the actual midterm exam. So uh, do not click on this until you are ready to start it. Right? As soon as you open that up, that's it. you got to take it right then and there. Um, uh, the midterm assessment is then a way to get feedback from me. So uh, we're going to ask you um, how we can improve the class, and how, you'll ask yourself how you can improve as a student. And uh, hopefully we can take that information and then do even better in the second half of the class. All right, so that'll round out the halfway point for the class. Um, as always, uh, you know, use the forums, send me messages, send me emails, um, and uh, I will see you round for unit four.